What is up everybody and welcome back to another episode of 5 Cool Mods. This is a series where I show you guys some of the coolest mods that come out each week. Mods that are unique or a little bit different in some way, shape, or form. Maybe not the most practical, but definitely a good time. We do have a pretty dynamic mix up this week, so hopefully you guys do enjoy. If you do enjoy, I encourage you to consider subscribing or support on Patreon if you're feeling particularly generous. With all that being said, let's get right into it. So the first mod we are checking out this week is the 10mm rifle. At first glance, it may look kind of shabby. It is very obviously a mashup of some of the existing assets in the game, using some of the different receivers and foregrips, etc., four different guns, and just basically putting them together in a longer gun. Whether you think that's a good thing or a bad thing, I really like this weapon mod. When I first saw it, I was like, oh, that's a little bit weird, but hey, I'll check it out anyway. Once I actually began to use the weapon and fire it, I found that I really like this mod. It's just something about it that makes it a lot more enjoyable. It fits into the world really well and really gives you a nice middle ground in between pipe weapons and an assault rifle. It's not super overpowered or broken that way, but it fits in pretty nicely. If you just saw this on Nexus, you guys probably wouldn't think, oh, that's a good mod to download, but I highly recommend you check it out and try it for yourself. Tattered Brotherhood of Steel uniforms. Basically, this mod adds in a bunch of ripped up and a little bit destroyed Brotherhood of Steel uniforms. A few different ones are added, including the original uniform, a military one, and even one with a bomber jacket, which definitely is my favorite out of the bunch. It's a relatively simple mod, but I actually do like the look of it. I probably wouldn't wear something like that in real life, but for Fallout 4, it mixes things up a little bit, and there is a really big cult following for the Brotherhood of Steel, so I'm sure quite a few of you will enjoy using this either on yourself or on your companions. All DLC building independent patch. So this mod is really simple. Basically it adds in a separate menu in the workshop for all the DLC items. I made a video about this a long time ago and since then the mod author has just messaged me and told me he did port it over to Xbox One. So it's perfect if you're using the vault Tech DLC or getting excited for Nuka World as I'm sure we'll see an update for that. In my opinion, it just makes things a lot easier to find and a lot more organized. I use this in my survival playthrough and I definitely recommend you guys check it out if you're into the workshop building. Next up, we do have the Keelerator. This is by El Palo Azul. I don't know if I'm saying that right. He's the man that made the portal gun and the gravity hammer and the gravity gun. And basically, he makes a lot of fun mods. His mods aren't really meant to be taken seriously or super lore friendly or used in your normal playthrough, but to mess around and explore the physics of Fallout 4, he's pretty much the best mod author out there. This newest addition in the Keelerator basically allows you to switch places with enemies. So when you shoot them, you will be swapped with them. It's relatively simple but can be used to some interesting effects especially in combat whether it is to sabotage your own settlement and throw enemies behind your lines or just to see where you could get them to land it's a very interesting mod and a lot of people really do like his mods me included they're fun to mess around with for like a half hour hour and then you could delete them and wait for the next one which will probably be out in a few days star lord armor so this adds in the armor from the guardians of the galaxy series there are technically a male and female version of it so it's not going to look super weird on your female just a little bit skinnier than the male version the armor itself does look really nice it does have cloth physics i especially like the mask my one major gripe is the hair you have to have that hair if you use this armor which is a little bit weird i'd love to see a normal helmet going on there some weird hair that just feels really out of place with the rest of the armor and in your characters other than that it is going to be essential for anyone that's a fan of Guardians of the Galaxy or just kind of wants a more sci-fi oriented armor. Obviously Fallout 4 takes place in a setting that has a lot of sci-fi elements as well as a lot of real world elements so with a few updates I think this armor could be a perfect fit. That's going to be it for this one though guys. I do hope you enjoyed this episode of 5 Cool Mods. I should have another one out this Friday if you're eager to check out more cool mods. Basically I'm pre-recording this whole week because I'm moving into college and doing all that fun stuff. As always I thank you guys for watching. I do hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you all next time. Later.